I'm Charlotte and this is The Daily where we talk all things skincare, fashion, fitness, and nutrition for the woman over 40. So as you can tell, I did end up getting braces on Friday. Um, so I've had them now for a few days and I'm getting used to them. And I'm kind of surprised because I never knew I wanted or needed braces. So, um, so the issue that I had was I felt that my bottom teeth were continuing to get more and more crooked. I didn't have a problem with them initially. In fact, I thought my teeth were overall pretty straight. Um, honestly, on the top, I felt that they were really straight. And on the bottom, you know, just a little crooked. But over the years, I feel like they have gotten more crooked and more noticeable. And um, not only are they crooked, but they kind of are pushing back. I don't know how you can see it. So I ended up going into the orthodontist. I saw two of them and I ended up going with the second one. Um, but I went in and I explained to them that I had, you know, my, my issue was my crooked bottom teeth. And um, so it was very cosmetic, the reason that I was going in. And um, could they, you know, I just thought in my head that I was going to go in and get a few brackets put on the bottom teeth maybe and get them straightened out. And it doesn't work that way. In my case, get the braces put on the top to pull them out just a little bit so that they don't chew off the bottom brackets. What they have to do initially is put the brackets on the top teeth as they have here. Then a month later, put the brackets on the bottom. In my case, I only have to wear braces for 10 to 12 months for them to straighten out. And I did opt for traditional brackets because with the Invisalign, you have the opportunity to take them out and put them back in. And that can be a pro for a lot of people. A lot of people can wear them throughout the day without anybody really noticing. I think they do cause sometimes a lisp issue. Maybe for not, maybe not for all people, but for some. For me, I thought maybe being able to take them out could be a con you know, there's opportunity not to wear them. And you have to wear Invisalign for 22 to 23 hours a day. That is kind of a, um, I think you can really make your braces journey last a lot longer than it has to if you have Invisalign for some people. I just thought that this would be just to kind of like set it and forget it kind of thing. I mean, keep them clean. It's a real big part of having braces is being able to keep them really clean and I think that I can do that. I did invest in a water pick and I think that that is, has been really, really helpful for me to go in and use my water pick and it just really makes them feel clean, keeps them clean and all of that stuff. Um, I use whitening toothpaste so that, um, you know, I can keep my teeth white but also my bands white. So let me explain the band situation. So although my brackets are very clear, what can get yellow is the band or the tie that is placed around each and every one of those brackets. So this time I opted for clear and I thought that it would match a little better, but it turns out that clear is what turns yellow, the clear band. So I have been vigorously brushing. So I do brush quite a bit, um, but the next time I think I go, I go in to get those changed, which is like every six weeks, because that is when you get your braces tightened about every six weeks, I think I'll get silver or light pink, the, um, the blue and like the lilac color. But really honestly, not only is it gonna be fun for the kids and kind of look cute, but also um, help them not to turn yellow. I can eat just about anything I want. They say with apples, don't bite into an apple, cut it up, which makes sense. You don't wanna bite your braces off kind of thing. Um, and, um, but the one thing that I've been reading about is whether or not I can have like sparkling water or seltzer or soda water, um, those kinds of things, the carbonated. And um, from what I've been reading, it says that it can actually corrode your teeth, the carbonation. So I am staying away from that as of now and just drinking water. So that's the one thing that maybe I might not, you know, I might miss a little bit, but it should be okay. And um, let's see, what else? I guess having braces changes the shape of your face just a little bit. For me, I didn't realize this at all, but I guess they narrow out in the back on my face, on my teeth. And so it'll actually pull them out a bit and maybe fill my face out a bit. So I thought that was, you know, um, cool. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I am over 40. I do have braces. Uh, it is interesting. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt to get them put on. And, um, it, I don't know what it feels like to have them tightened yet, so we'll see. If you're interested at all in my braces journey, 
just um, ask me a question you want to. I'll tell you what I know so far. And I can also post extra videos as I am going through my braces journey. I think I'll probably be able to talk just a little bit better, um, you know, by next week. I mean, I, I don't feel like I'm talking very different now. It, it, it takes a little something to put your lips like back over the braces. You know what I mean when you're talking? So when you smile and you smile, hey, you gotta then put your, brace, your lips back over your braces. <laughs> you know, maybe I can do that more seamlessly next week, okay? <laughs> So I'll let you know. The silver wire that gets strung through the brackets will get thicker eventually. Um, and I don't think I've mentioned this in, in this video yet, um, but what the one thing that you do have to watch for is if you wear lipstick or lip gloss, um, it actually rubs off on the very, on the bottom here. So you have to kind of take inventory every now and then just to make sure that if you do like to wear, you know, lipstick, I do. And then I just kind of either, um, you know, wipe that, that area off or try to get the lipstick off from the inside of my lips, you know. But anyway, I wanted to show you, I wanted to, I wanted to tell you about it. I wanted to show you, I wanted to say, hey, look, I'm over 40 and I'm getting some braces. So if you've ever been considering, you know, straightening your teeth out, Invisalign could be for you or brackets might be for you. Um, you know, you have a choice and I don't think braces are so bad, but it, to each his own. Um, I just wanted to share with you. So just a little chit chat. And then also I wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be doing a um, kind of revisit Kenzie. It's the handheld um, IPL device. I've been using the IPL for about four weeks now, um, four or five weeks. And they say that you get the full results after 12 weeks. They did say that you could see results after four weeks. I don't feel like my results are very visibly noticeable. So I do feel like the hair growth is kind of, it's taking longer for it to grow out. I also want to be able to show you like if it's reducing my brown spots on my legs. So um, I've been using it for four or five weeks now and I think I'm gonna wait another, you know, four to five weeks before I redo that video and, and show you what um, the results are. So be looking for that. But in the meantime, thank you so much for stopping by. I always love having you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you. And um, hit that like button or that uh, bell notification and or, or both so you never miss another video. Thanks again for stopping by. Um, God bless you guys. And remember to live, laugh, and love.